So, we got some packages. Um, let's go ahead and open them. You've got mail. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Tito, and welcome to Macho Nacho Productions. As you can see, we got quite a few packages here, and these actually came from you guys. So, I'm going to go ahead and open uh, each one, one by one, and show you the contents, and yeah. So without any further ado, let's start with the first package. Now, just to let you guys know, I actually opened most of these already. And I sort of thought to myself, you know, why am I opening these myself? I kind of want to show you all and really thank a lot of you guys on camera for sending these over. But uh, as you can see, so this is the first package. And this one actually comes from Australia. I kind of covered everything so I can, you know, protect people's identity and their addresses but uh, so this one came from Australia and you may be able to tell that this one came from Natalie the nerd and I'm sure a lot of you folks are familiar with Natalie she does a lot of really really cool mods uh, that she makes one of her more popular ones are those sort of LED uh, backlights for the buttons on the Game Boy Pocket the Game Boy Color and uh, so yeah she reached out to me and asked if she could send me some of those. And I said, absolutely. I actually meant to buy those ahead of time, but uh, I just, I never got around to it. So I'm actually really glad that she sent these over. So if you are not following Natalie the Nerd on Instagram, go ahead and give her a follow. She does a lot of really great mods and she actually makes a lot of great mods. Now, one of the things I noticed right off the bat is Natalie's packaging. She really takes a lot of care in, in doing it. Okay, so here we got some PCBs. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, very cool. Oh, so these are the LED controls. So you can actually, there's a potentiometer here. So I'm, I'm assuming you can adjust the brightness. And then there's also a switch. And I'm sure the switch is to just turn the lights on and off. So that's pretty cool. So that it's not always on. So this is the LED button backlight kit for the Game Boy Color. Very cool. She also sent one for the Game Boy Pocket. Very neat. Then we got one for the DMG. And, oh wow, this is really cool. Oh, so this is for the original Game Boy Advance. So it's for the horizontal form factor, not the SP, because it looks like you got one half here and then you got the other half there. Very cool. And she also sent some very lovely pins. So we got like a Nintendo one, a Pikachu, Game Boy Color, and a Nintendo 64. Yeah, these are pretty nice quality. I might put some of these on my backpack. So these are very cool. So Natalie, thank you so much. I have some builds in mind that I'm gonna be using these for. I do need to buy some clear buttons though, but uh, definitely uh, stay tuned everybody for some videos on installing these. So again, thank you, Natalie. So this next one is, I wrote it right here, a new 3DS repair project. So this was actually sent to the channel by uh, a really cool guy named Johnny from West Virginia, actually uh, from Johnny and his daughter. So this is a really cool thing. They reached out to me and asked that they could send it. And I really do think this is gonna make for a very cool video. Again, I did open it, but I kind of resealed it. So it looks like I'm unboxing it. Uh, so what this is, just like what it says on top, this is a 3DS. I do believe maybe actually it's even a new 3DS, but as you can see, it is um, in pieces. So let's go ahead and take everything out. All right, so as you can see, guys, this is a, this, so apparently this is a new 3DS. Apparently something's wrong with the screen, so I may need to order a replacement one, but, uh, but yeah, I think this will be a pretty cool project to see if we can repair this new 3DS, bring it some new life, you know, maybe give it a quick clean and definitely try to put it back together. So hopefully all the pieces are here, but that will be a really neat video. And again, uh, Johnny, thank you so much. Definitely stay tuned because I will be trying to put this back together. All right, so moving right along to the next, I think this is like the last small package. Okay, so this actually comes from New Jersey from an individual named Rob. This is actually a really cool thing. Again, I opened it, but uh, this is a really cool mod, which I'll be doing very, very soon. I'm actually not going to tell you guys what it is, but I would like to see if any of you could guess what this is. So we got a ribbon cable here. We got a speaker there. And then in here is a nifty little PCB, but I am not going to show you the back of the board. Otherwise that'll give it away. But there it is. This is a PCB, which is going to be doing something very cool. I will tell you it is for the Nintendo DS. 
And yeah, so this little thing is gonna go inside of a Nintendo DS and we're gonna get some pretty neat functionality out of it. So again, the kit comes with a PCB, a speaker, this rather large ribbon cable, and a few small components. I believe these are small resistors that we're gonna need to use to bridge a couple connections. If you guys wanna give it a guess, let me know what you think this mod is for in the comments below, but there will be a video on this very neat mod coming in the very near future. So definitely stay tuned for that as well. All right. So now we're gonna start moving on to the big boxes. And I'm saving best for last. This one is so awesome. And I'm just, I can't believe that the individual who sent this was actually donating this to the channel. So definitely this is, I'm saving this for last. This next one is also very cool. So let me set this aside. All right, so this big box here comes all the way from California from a guy named Eric. And Eric reached out and asked if he could send this to the channel. I of course said yes, because really a lot of these things are great for me because it helps me when I want to do mod videos. Uh, you know, sometimes I have to source new consoles and actually one of the consoles in here, I will be modding in a video that's going to be coming up pretty soon. So definitely stay tuned for that. But let's go ahead and let's crack this open. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this down here and pull out the things one by one. All right, so first thing we got here is, ooh, okay, ooh, it's kind of rattling a little bit. Wow, so we got a pretty dirty PS2, and it is rattling a little bit, so I'm a little concerned. Of, oh, actually, it's, uh, okay, so, yeah, oh, okay. So there's actually quite a bit of damage to this one. Um, this could be good as a parts unit, uh, it'd be, I, I can see there's quite a bit of damage here to the laser. It's off the rail. Actually, it doesn't look like there's any rail for it. So yeah, this thing looks like it might've been left outside. But yeah, great. So first thing in there is a PS2. I don't know, it's, pro it's obviously probably not working, but it's always good to have spare parts because obviously they don't make these anymore. Although the PS2 did sell quite well and there's a lot out in circulation. And this also so happens to be one of my all-time favorite consoles. The PS2 is a great one. So, Eric, thank you very much. I will be taking a look at this to see if there is anything that we can repair. All right, great. So let's move on to the next thing in the box. All right, so this one, I have a feeling this is the thing that I will be modding very soon. Oh, actually, no, this is, uh, this is not what I was thinking. Okay, very cool. All right, so what we have here is another uh, pretty dirty, but very awesome Sony PlayStation. Wow, this thing is grungy, just like the PS2. Look at this, this thing needs to be cleaned. Or at least in the disc tray, it does look pretty clean. So that's good. All right, so let's move on to the next thing in the box. All right, so this has got to be the thing that I will be modding. Uh, I won't tell you what I'll be doing to it, but if you do have any guesses, definitely put them in the uh, comments below and let's see if you got, if you all get it. So here we have a Genesis Model 2. This actually seems pretty good. Contacts look pretty good. Motherboard actually looks clean in there. But yeah, so we got a Sega Genesis Model 2 and we will be doing a very cool modification to this. And if you have any guesses, put it down in the comments. And I think there is one more thing in the box, so let's see what it is. All right, last thing in the box. So I'm sure you guys can guess what this is. It looks like another PS2. This one also in pretty, pretty rough shape. It's missing the CD tray door. Uh, at least it's not rattling. And at least it's sort of, you know, maybe we can combine the two PS2s together to make one working one. That could be a fun video. But uh, yeah, so we got another PS2, two PlayStation 2s, uh, a PS1 and a Model 2 Sega Genesis. So I don't know if uh, Dan or Chris or, or Woozle are listening, but if Pixel FX came out with a PS2 digital HDMI mod, I'd be all over that, so. 
But yeah, so that's everything that uh, Eric sent over. So Eric, thank you so much. Uh, I'll definitely be utilizing them in some way, one way or another. And the Sega Genesis, of course, I will be modding that very, very soon. So again, thank you so much. And now on to the last package. And I kind of saved best for last. This is, honestly, I'm just dumbfounded that uh, uh, the individual who sent this actually sent it, but let's go ahead and open it. Now, this actually came from an individual whom I'm sure many of you are familiar with, who goes by the name of Bob. So Bob of Retro RGB uh, reached out and asked if I'd be interested in, uh, you know, having this. And I, of course, said, you know, absolutely. And I asked him how much, and he actually said, oh, no, no cost, and that he was donating it. And I just, I couldn't believe it. So uh, even before I open it, Bob, thank you so, so much for sending this over. But yeah, so if you don't know Bob, you know, he is a pillar in the retro gaming community. Uh, he has the website Retro RGB, and then he also has a YouTube channel of the same name. Uh, he does a lot of cool stuff. He does a lot of really great live streams as well. So definitely, definitely check him out. All right, let's go ahead and let's start unpackaging this. Yep, okay, so we got the first part right here. All right, so this is a DS fat. Uh, it's got the cable sticking out of it. Oh my goodness, guys. Wow. So here it is, guys. This this is really something super, super awesome. I'm sure a lot of you have seen something like this. Uh, so this is the IS Nitro emulator. And it comes from Intelligent Systems. And these are the folks that really, they make uh, quite a few of the Nintendo uh, dev kits. And not just dev kits, but they make... Uh, ROM copiers, they, they make a lot of stuff. And this one is, I believe this is, so this is the emulator and I think this is kind of meant for testing games. Uh, you do need to connect it to the computer. It's got quite a bit of IO on the back. As you can see, it's got a, it's got an AV out for each screen. It's got a, uh, an ethernet jack. It's got this USB, this kind of older style. I think it's like a type B USB that connects to the computer, a bunch of dip switches. Um, it takes a GameCube power adapter, but guys, I'm going to do a whole video on this thing. So this is just such a cool device. I'm just so grateful to actually have this in my collection. So Bob, again, thank you so much. And if you haven't already, please do check out Retro RGB. So, uh, but yeah, guys, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. A lot of really cool stuff that I'm excited about. But, uh, but yeah, uh, if you did enjoy this video, let me know. I'll probably do more of these kind of mail opening videos. I feel kind of bad. I, I, I've gotten mail before and I never really opened it on camera and I really wasn't able to verbally thank a lot of the folks uh, in a video, which I really would like to do. So I'm gonna start doing that maybe more often. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But uh, until then guys, uh, this video did come out a little bit uh, off of my schedule. I will be still doing a video this Thursday, so definitely stay tuned for that. And I do just want to thank everybody uh, who does send stuff to the channel. It, it really helps a lot. It gives me great content to show you guys, and whenever I do a mod, it really helps uh, with that process as well. So really guys, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it.